Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and today I have the Outre Human Hair Blend 5x5 five five Lace Closure 16 inches in the color 1B. So I'm going to pull this out. Take the paper out and show you the unit. This is what she looks like. She's soft. I like the curls. They had wrapped the front of the curls in some kind of a, a netting on both sides that I took that out. And again, it's a five by five. So it's not going to go all the way down to your ears. I'm going to slip this on and we're going to see what we're working with. This wig right away I will tell you is big head friendly because it's fitting me very easily. It's big head friendly. I'm probably going to pluck it because you know I don't like that straight line across the front. Let me get this lace down here. Yeah, see I'm going to pluck it. Um, but it looks really nice and what I like about 5 by 5s is that you can blend your own hair in so I can keep my hair out and you won't be able to tell that it's not mine because it's the same color as the wig. So that's cool. So let me show you what it looks like in the back just for me trying it on. As you can see I'm in a different location. I'm not in my regular room today. Pull this a little closer. So I think I had mentioned to you guys that I saw Digging Her Style do this wig. And for some reason it looks shorter on her than it does on me. And I know she's shorter than me. Um, and she sort of did a, what you might call a flip over with this as opposed to parting it in any particular way. So the way she did it from what I recall is that she had all of this kind of flipping up. She had it all kind of flipping up like that. And then she took this part and she actually took some of this hair and swooped it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that because of the fact that I have my own hair here. So I think I'm just going to pluck it and wear it like that. And then uh, we'll see how else it looks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my tweezers here and I've got my water. I don't normally do this on my head. But I brought a mirror and I'm going to see if I can just pluck this on my head. <laughs> Usually I'll do this on a mannequin head, but we're going to just try it this time. So I'm just going to spray a little water just around here. And I've seen people do this before, spraying the water to get uh, the plucking started. And I'm just going to kind of brush it back just a little bit to make it straightened out. And the good thing is there's not that much lace here. So I'm going to see if I can't do this on camera on my own head. So let's get going. I'm just going to pluck it, pluck it, pluck it, pluck it. It doesn't look like there's much room to pluck right there, so I'm going to move up and pluck it here. Yeah, just break, we're just going to break up this line a little bit. So I pluck, you know, I just pull it until it looks like I've made a space here that I've made some kind of a space and then I keep it moving. So I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm just going to make my, get rid of these straight lines a little bit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you just make a little bit of a space here. Not a whole lot of uh, activity. And you can kind of tell, you know, that it's, it's making a little bit of a, giving yourself a little bit of a gap here between, you know, some people call it like pluck and move, pluck and move, <laughs> you know, so, so you can see space. So I'm just going to keep it moving. Just pluck some more here. So I can make a little bit more space there. And yeah, I actually prefer to do this on a mannequin head because it's easier for me to see. But sitting right here, this doesn't seem to be too bad. 
and I'm halfway where I want to be so I'm just going to keep going. And if you guys never seen me do this, well, now you are. <laughs> so, okay, let me keep it moving. So I'm just taking a little bit of the hair. I'm not taking bunches of it. I'm starting in the front and I'm pulling individual hairs and I'm working my way back so that I can make that little gap. It takes longer than others sometimes, but you can start to see I'm making a little gap there. This is a little dry right here. I'm just going to put a little bit more water there. And I'm just moving along, trying to make these little gaps in between, not too far back, but just enough to make some room here to break up this line. I just don't like the line. And it's important to make sure that your tweezers are sharp. You don't want dull tweezers because they're just not going to pick up as well. They're not going to pick up as much hair. This, these are starting to get dull. But yeah, okay, I'm almost, I'm almost there. But yeah, this is a process that doesn't necessarily have to be tedious, but it can be if you don't like doing it. It can seem tedious if you don't like doing it. That's you. Just a little bit more. I'm almost done. So yeah, just take your time. You know, start at the beginning, I mean the front, and start pulling the hairs out going backwards. And you'll start to see those gaps. And that's really what you want. You just want to make some gaps. Just want to make some gaps. And this is easier because it's a five by five as opposed to, you know, a whole 13 by four. Having to do a whole, whole 13 by four or 13 by five or something, it takes longer because you got to go all the way down to your ear. With this, you're not going that far down. So you don't have as much to pull out. So I think that's all I'm going to do. Now what you will notice is now that I've done that, when I start to brush, you're going to see hair. Lots of hair because as you tweeze, it comes out, okay? It doesn't usually come out while you're doing the tweezing, but the hair is going to come out after you do the tweezing. So you can see I've got, well, you probably can't see very much of it, but I got hair here. Okay? All right, so the next step for me in this process is, of course, to cut the lace off. Now, there's two schools of thought as far as this goes. And, and like I said, since it's a five by five, this is easier. You can either cut the lace off now and then either use something like this where you can put it on your finger and tap it across, or you can keep the lace on and maybe spray and then cut. I like the first way because if it's already cut, it's easier for me to, to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. And then we're going to, um, you know, figure out how I want to style it. So, and, and again, you guys who know me know that I usually never cut my lace off on my head. <laughs> and I'm only doing this now because it's a small amount of lace. And I can pretty much see where I'm going here with this. So a lot of times with the 13 by 4, I can't always see where I'm going. With the, with the cutting of the lace, so. All right, so there you go, so it's gone. So at this point, I can decide whether I want to make this a glueless install or a glued install. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much blending into my skin, so I really don't need to make it glued. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the, some of the um, foundation from my brush and I'm just gonna go over it just a little bit there so that it mixes in with what I've already got on my head and makes it blend in. So there. So that way I don't have to glue it down. Especially since it's just five by five, it's not really going anywhere. Especially if I have a, um, a wig grip on, I didn't put one on now, but if I had one on, this would be all I need to do. So with this particular unit, because I like these curls, I don't know whether I am going to um, 
brush these out or not. Um, I'm gonna think about this because um, I wanna show you guys different ways that this looks. So for right now, um, I'm gonna kinda do, I'm gonna do a left side part first because you guys know I'm a lefty. So I'm gonna do a left side part first. And I'm just gonna let it come over to the side. And uh, depending on what kind of cap you have on, that makes a difference too. For some crazy reason, I put on a beige cap and it should have been black. So you can kind of see. But since I have not glued this down, I can take this off and go and put a black cap on so that you can see that it's like completely flawless. So here's what it looks like on the left side. That's without me putting any powder in the part, without me um, using the hot comb to flatten it out. And again, there's several schools of thought on the hair around the part. In some cases, I do not want to make this flat on both sides because my hair doesn't normally look completely flat when it's parted on the side. Some people prefer to take the hot comb and just flatten the whole thing. I'm not necessarily into that. Um, I'm just gonna brush this a little bit now that I've got it on the left side. And it's really, the curls are beautiful. I mean, this, this unit was very well done, very well done. So I'm just gonna brush a little bit of it so that I can make them a little bit more uniform together, you know. And uh, yeah. So, and kind of do my little thing here. This unit is gorgeous. These curls are great. So yeah, I didn't take my thing off the top of my head, did I? <laughs> I've got those little um, plastic things stuck on the top of my head. I can't believe I didn't cut those out. And I can't see, so I hope I get this right. All right, there they go. Whoops, there they go. Okay, so then this is one look. Here it is just as a left side part. Again, it's glueless, as you can see, it's glueless. And um, I just need to put a different color cap on. You tell you what, I'm gonna go and get a black cap and I'll be right back. Okay, I switched to a black cap. So I'm gonna put it back on now. And again, very, very big head friendly. Very big head friendly. And see, that looks even better. Yep, look how natural that looks. And I haven't glued it down. Isn't this beautiful? That's beautiful. That's beautiful like that, yeah. So, okay, so that's this side. This side is curled very nicely. This side, yeah. Very nice, very nice unit. And brush it a little bit more in the back just to give it uh, some more uniformity. Now I will say that I think it's a little thin in the back. I think I'd want it to be a little bit thicker in the back than it is. It's a little thin in the back for my taste. And again, if you decide that you want to wear it definitely on one side or the other, then as far as the hot comb goes, you can, you know, do that. Okay. So yeah, so I like this, I think it's pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a middle part because there are middle part people out there. I'm gonna do a middle part, see what it looks like in a middle part. That's what the girl is wearing on the stock card, she's wearing a middle part. So. <clears throat> yeah. And again, if you decide you want to keep it in the middle part, you can always um, flatten it on both sides of the part. Yeah. So this looks a little bit more like what she's doing or what she's got going on on hers. And yeah, I do. I wish it was a little thicker in the back. It's not as thick as I'd like it to be. That's yeah. So, so there it is in the middle. It's the middle part. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. If you get it, uh, if you flatten the both sides of the part and maybe bring it up more with um, some hairspray or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go to the right side. 
I'll probably end up doing a flip over with this because I like the way that looks. But here's what it looks like on the right side. Now for me, because the right side of mine, I've got a little bit extra lace here, I'd probably glue that down. I'd probably glue it down on that side. But so this is what it looks like on the right side. And you can make it kind of sexy, you know, by putting it all up in your face if you want to. But yeah, this, this rig is versatile. I like that. And again, I like the fact that I didn't have much lace to mess with. So that's really nice, yeah. So yeah, I'd probably glue this down or maybe cut the lace a little bit closer. See, since I cut it on my head, I can't be as precise as I can be when I cut it on the mannequin head. So yeah, so this is cute. This is really cute. Um, I am going to go back to the left because you guys know I love the left. So I'm going to go back to the left. And what I'm going to do on the left is I'm going to show you how I will glue it down. Well, not glue it down, but because I'm not going to glue it down. But I'm going to show you how I usually use the hot comb to lay it down when I, when I do that kind of thing. So let me just get a good part in here. Yeah. Utre has a few of these out now. These um, 5x5 closures, they have them in straight styles as well as um, wavy styles now, which is nice. You know, depending on what you like, you can get that. I'm going to put a little bit of this wax stick on here. Just a little bit on both sides. And probably up here in the front just a little bit so that I can, uh, ooh, wow, that was a big piece. I wonder how that happened. Well, anyway, so I'm gonna get my um, hot comb and lay this down. Now, some people use the back of the hot comb to do this. Some people use the actual teeth. I guess it just depends. For me, I'm gonna use just the back of it for right now to just lay it a little bit on both sides. And I kind of like to lay the back of the part too. And that's, and then I start with the actual teeth. Because the teeth I don't want to use too much of because I don't want it to take away my curls. So I'm just gonna do it up a little bit in the front. Just a little bit. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm not big on the hot comb for synthetic hair. I've just never been big on the hot comb for synthetic hair. So I'm going to brush this down and I'm going to put this side behind my ear because I can do that. I'm going to put this side behind my ear and just brush this out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some of my own hair. I'm going to take some of my own hair out, just a little bit of it. Since you guys probably have noticed that I dyed my hair black, I'm going to take out some of my own hair and just lay it over top of this hair. Just a little bit. I don't need a lot. Just a little bit to kind of blend it in with what's already there. Just a little bit. Yeah. Nothing major. And then again, if I feel like I'm not comfortable with uh, this, I can always just lay it down. So I'm going to take a little bit of this Eben um, spray. It's real, um, it's real watery and I don't really like that. But if you just put it on your finger and then, you know, lay it down, it does a pretty good job of laying your hair down. Okay, so I'm going to push that back. I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to brush this out a little bit. And I really want this to be up front more. I really want this, this hair on this side to be more up front. So I'm going to brush it back, but I'm going to bring it up more. I'm going to bring it up more. And again, there's... So I'm not going to glue that part down. I'm just going to bring it up some and so I can get kind of something going on there. And then I can take this or any kind of hairspray and just spray it up there to kind of keep it up, you know, to give it a little lift. And that's really all I'm going to do with this. 
Then I'm going to brush this down and try to keep this swooping action going on for the rest of the hair. So yeah, now and then in this case, if you still decide that it's too high, you can still come back with the hot comb and start laying the back part of it down. Not the front, because you want that front to stay up. But you can start laying the back part of it down some, if you feel like you need to do that. But yeah, I'm trying to keep this up here, because I like that. And I want that to be my look. So yeah. So this is really adorable. Yeah, really adorable. So what do you guys think about this unit? Do you guys like this? I like this. I like it because it's versatile and you can do a lot with it. I also like the fact that I don't really have to glue it down because as you can see, it looks perfect. It looks like it's mine. So let's finish this off with um, a little powder in the part. And this is just the powder that you would use on, you know, your face or if you feel like you need something lighter or darker, you can do that. Just be real careful when you put it in here. You don't want too much in that part. Excuse my allergies. I got allergies like to beat the band, you guys. So yeah, so just a little bit will do it. And there you go. And again, here's the back. Here's the back of the hair, 16 inches. I really do like this unit. So if you guys are interested in this unit, get my stray hairs out of here. If you guys are interested in HHB, which is Human Hair Blend Body Wave 16 by Outre, the 5x5 closure, it is available in stores and online. As you guys know, I normally get my units online and um, that's where I got this one. I believe I bought this from So Good BB. Um, really like that store, really like uh, their service. Uh, again, since I'm in North Carolina and they are in uh, Georgia, I get my units pretty quickly from them. And you know, you might want to keep that in mind when you're buying a unit uh, online, that if the store is close to, closer to you or your state, that uh, can make a big difference. So yeah. Alrighty, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, oh, I know what I didn't do. I didn't tell you the colors that it comes in. Now it comes in your regular 1-1-B and I believe it might come in a 2, but it also comes in on, here we go, trying to read and I'm blind. Um, it also comes in, oh God, I can't see a thing. I'll be right back. I gotta get my glasses. Okay, here we go. I can see now. It comes in a sandy blonde, a ginger auburn, DR2 Chocolate Swirl, DRFF2 Honey Ginger Brown, DRFF2 Ruby Rose, and DRFF2 Vanilla Mocha. And those are the colors that are shown on the back. Besides your regular 1, 1B, and I believe uh, 2 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so if you are interested in this one, go and get her because I think she's very versatile. I think she's easy for people who don't normally do you know, the lay down thing, because again, you can wear a glueless. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to lay her down. I didn't lay her down except on this side. And then I put my hair on, on top of that. So yeah. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching. As I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I am still looking good. And of course, so are you. See you next time.